This is Casanova. He's a Maine Coon cat, and he's got some matting on his belly and chest today that we're gonna take care of. The first thing we do is clip off all of his needle claws. Have to do that for our own safety. We shave off all of his matted fur with a 10 blade. This is really short, but we have to be able to get safely underneath the matting to remove it. Cats have pretty thin skin. And as you can see, his mats are pretty tight, especially in his armpits and chest. Now I'm not shaming anyone with this video. This is actually my cat. Casanova has cerebellar hyperplasia, which makes him pretty wobbly and he has trouble taking care of himself. So he gets matted. I'll give you a little break. I'll give you a little break. Okay. Poor naked boy. I'm okay. Okay. After the matting is removed, we give him a bath with a waterless foam shampoo. Wet baths really stress out cats, and Casanova is an older boy, but we need to get all of that dandruff and gross stuff off where that matting was. After saturating his fur with the foam, we give him a good towel dry and brush him out with a slicker brush. And now he's all clean and soft and smells so good. Good boy, Cass. The only hair that wasn't matted was his little mohawk, and since he's my cat and nobody can complain, we've decided to do a dinosaur trim on him today. So I defined the mohawk with a tin blade, and then I use a 30 blade and a comb to kind of rough in scales, give him a little dinosaur ridge back. This is a trim that's popular in the cat community, and I've never gotten to try it, so thank you, Cass. And I wouldn't be able to do this trim if he wasn't cooperating so well. Can't do this on an angry cat. He's being really good. I lightly scissor his face to blend everything in and do a few finishing touches. And he's all done. What a good dinosaur. What a good dinosaur. What a good boy. And Cass did great today. Such a good boy. Thank you, Cass.